Hey friends, today I'm going to share a story with you, and it's called Good Friends and Good Neighbors. I hope you remember what the word neighbors mean. If you do, let me just fix my camera, just to make sure, neighbors mean somebody that live near you. So you might have a neighbor to the right of your house, you might have a neighbor to the left of your house. If you live in an apartment, you might have a neighbor above you upstairs or a neighbor below you downstairs. So we have neighbors all over. I have a neighbor to the left of my house, to the right, and some across the street. So when we have neighbors, neighbors are supposed to get along, work together, be kind to each other, help out their community. And I think that's a good message for our world today because just like we should always be kind to our family and our friends, it's important to be kind to our outside community, like our neighbors and even people that we don't know. So this book is pretty cool because it's a book, right? And the title says Richard Scary's Please and Thank You Book. But there's short stories inside. So this one today is called Good Friends and Neighbors. But the one before it was called Lowly Worms, Horrid Pests. So there's many different stories. So this one's pretty short, but that's okay because we'll talk about it. And I'll ask you some questions. We'll look at the pictures. But I wanted to share it with you because I want you to remember to be kind to your neighbors and everyone in your community and even those outside of your community. We always want to make people feel good and we never want to hurt their feelings. So let's get started. Good friends and neighbors. Take a look at the picture. What do you think is happening in this picture? Exactly. I hope some of you said they're either playing or they're making a mess or they're hiding. There's many different ideas just from looking at the illustration. I noticed that there's lots of bunnies, right? And they're all over. I'm thinking this is the mama bunny. Maybe she's in charge. And these are all the kids. And it looks like they're hiding. So I don't know if they're playing hide and seek or if they're looking for something. But let's see. Good friends and neighbors always help each other. Right now, all the bunny family are trying to help grandma find her glasses. Where in the world could she have put them? Pig Will and Pig Me Too are also good neighbors. When someone asks them to do something, they do it right away with a big smile. So like we predicted, they were doing something. They were helping Grandma find her glasses. Does anyone see where her glasses are? Yeah, if you sat on her head, whoop, you were right. She had them on the whole time and she didn't realize. I do that too sometimes. Keep them like this and then I say, I can't see anything. Where are my glasses? But they're on top of my head. Just means you're forgetful. That's okay. And this little, this little passage down here, we have pigs, right? Not bunnies anymore, but if you notice, it looks like Mama Pig is mopping and the two boys are helping her. I hope that you helped to clean up or do something in your own homes too. That's being responsible. Good friends always cover their noses when sneezing. Ah, chew! Look at that sneeze. Or when they're coughing. But it's hard for Eddie Elephant to cover his nose when he sneezes. Look out for germs, everyone! So remember when we were in school and we would say that if you had a cough or a sneeze to do it like a vampire into your elbow? Because that helps keep others safe from your germs. You can always do that no matter where you are. Eddie the elephant was having a hard time doing that because his nose or his trunk was so large. What does Loli always say when he asks for something? What do you always say when you ask for something? There's a magic word. Good, I hope you said please. Please, may I? And what does Loli say when someone gives him something? What's that magic word? If I give you something, you say, good, I hope you said thank you. Do you say that too? If you do, good for you. Kiss that brain. If you have a friend who is sick, visit him or send him a card. Tell him you hope he gets well soon. We had some friends this year in our class who got really sick and went to the hospital. And I think you remember, we made them a card. And we got to give that card to them to make them feel special and feel better. Share with others if you would like others to share with you. So look at this character here. 
he's sharing with all of his classmates. Because if you want friends to share, at, um, I'm sorry, to share markers or brushes or materials with you, you should be sharing with them. Everyone likes to receive presents. Give a present to someone once in a while. Kisses make very nice presents. But don't be stingy. Give a big kiss. Mwah. I love giving Shay kisses. He likes it too. When you are leaving somebody's house after a visit, always remember to say, thank you for the very nice time. Lowly even blows a kiss when he leaves. I like to say, thank you for having me. So when I visit a friend's house and I leave their house, I always say, thank you for having me over because it's nice. They didn't have to have me and they did. It's a kind of gesture. Go to bed as soon as your parents tell you it is time. No one should have to be told a dozen times. As soon as they say it's bedtime, that's what bedtime means. Go to bed. All right, Loli, please take off your hat and shoe when you go to bed. Good night, everyone. Sleep tight. And then this little guy says, just a minute. I have to go get a glass of water. So I hope you learned some new ways that you can be polite and be kind and respectful and remember to always say please and thank you. I hope some of these characters in that short story were able to give you some ideas of other ways you can continue to be a respectful person. And before we go, come here, Shay Shay. I'm going to give Shay Shay a big kiss. Mm -hmm. Bye, friends. See you next time.